Welcome everyone. This morning we have with us um, Ambassador Ali Salwar Dakri, who was the former ambassador of Pakistan and is currently the executive director for the Center for International Strategic Studies in Pakistan. Um, welcome, Mr. Dakri. I have a couple of questions for you, um, beginning with uh, something you wrote in August 2011, where you wrote for the Dawn newspaper about Pakistan's declining image on the international stage due to a variety of reasons. You also cited multiple ways in which the nation can rebuild its reputation. Are you happy with Pakistan's progress since then? And if there's one thing in your view the current government could do to bring out a perceptible change in the current status quo? You see, there are two parts uh, to the image question uh, or the subject of image building. Uh, one is what happens on the ground, the other is what is projected and how effectively it is, it is projected. Now what happens on the ground is encouraging it's from 2011 to today. As I, I outlined in my talks, we have strengthened the judiciary, uh, the uh, law enforcement authorities uh, like the National Accountability Bureau. Uh, and also the Election Commission of Pakistan, the body that administers elections. We have also strengthened the parliament. We have strengthened the executive in a way because the elections are underway. So these things are happening. And then the democratic structure is strengthened as a whole. Uh, so that way it is positive. But then there are other external factors of the uh, geopolitics of the region which uh, is hitting Pakistan negatively at the moment. Uh, and therefore, we are not being able to get a, uh, a good uh, uh, projection at, the, at, at this time. Uh, this will, this can and will change, but uh, I am more sure about can than about will. The, the point is that uh, this has to be uh, seen how and finally about the projection i think um, we could do more in that area right you mentioned strengthening the democratic processes of pakistan now this year pakistan goes to elections how do you think the possible outcomes of the elections may impact the country's foreign policy i think there is a consistency in our foreign policy which has remained uh, uh, more or less constant over the last, uh, let's say, 18 years, ever since uh, this century has uh, uh, come uh, uh, into, into effect. However, uh, there will be adjustments that will have to be made from time to time. Uh, one of the priorities of uh, foreign policy today is to improve uh, the regional situation which means uh, undertaking dialogue with India. And uh, I think the new government would, in all likelihood, be focused on uh, trying to achieve it. Uh, whether, they, how far they can go. You see, I will recall uh, very quickly that last time when Narendra Modi came to power as Prime Minister, Nawaz Sharif went to Delhi for the inauguration. So this beginning was good, but then there were setbacks uh, that occurred. So hopefully we will begin well because in 2019 there is the Indian elections. So when the two new governments are in place, hopefully there will be a better interaction between the two. Right. And I guess key to this is the Bajwa Doctrine, which has received much attention in Pakistan and abroad. How has that helped, in your opinion, shape the recent foreign policy thinking in Pakistan? And do you see it playing an even more important role in the future? You see, Bajwa doctrine is no doctrine. It, is been the, it, it, has, it is a word coined by the media. There is no such thing as a Bajwa doctrine. What he has done is he has restated or stated these basic principles of nationhood, which means the internal peace and harmony domestic peace and external uh, uh, relations uh, with neighbors and with uh, uh, other countries in the region uh, 
uh, in, a, in, a, in a very sort of uh, constructive manner. Uh, which means also improvement of relations with India. Uh, so the Bajwa doctrine encompasses uh, much of what our national narrative is. And there is no such doctrine. Bajwa himself has denied that he gave out a doctrine. But he made a press statement which covered all these things. So yes, it's, it is uh, certainly a doctrine that uh, a, a set of ideas which are uh, uh, representative of what Pakistan leadership wants. <coughs> but there is no such doctrine or anything. Thank you for your time, Mr. Nakwi, and for your very clear and deep insights into Pakistan and its foreign policy. Very See kind. You. Thank you so much. Thank you.